So we continue on 10 frequency response theory part 2. So this is theory number 6-0. For example, if we have 0 as plus 4, where, is it, where the 0 is negative 4 at the numerator, we rearrange this equation into the frequency domain by replacing S with J omega plus 4. And then we need to rearrange into this format until we get plus 1. In order to have this one, we need to divide j omega with 4 and we need to multiply this function by 4 in order to get the same function as this one. So 4 is the cutoff frequency. In this case, the 0 is equal to negative 4 but in the frequency domain, there is no negative frequency. So we use positive 4 instead. So 4 is the cutoff frequency for this function 0. So for magnitude, the starting point for 0 is 0 dB. For the frequency less than 4, the slope is 0 dB per decade. For frequency larger than 4, until the end, the slope is positive 20 dB per decade. For phase, this is a special case. Um, the cutoff frequency is 4. We need to extend one decade earlier, meaning that 4 divided by 10. We have 0 0.4. And then we need to extend one decade after this cutoff frequency, which is multiplied by 10, which is equal to 40. So the starting point for phase for 0 function is 0 degree. For frequency, less than 0 0.4 is 0 degree per decade slope. For frequency between 0 0.4 until 40, the slope is positive 45 degree per decade. So this is one decade, this is another decade. So for one decade, the y-axis or the phase value is positive 45. So this slope is positive 45 degree per decade but you need to extend for two decades. One decade before the cutoff frequency which is this one and one decade after the cutoff frequency which is this one. So for these two decades, the slope is equal positive 45 degree per decade. For frequency larger than 40, the slope is 0 degree per decade. So theory number 7 is pole at the denominator. For example, if we have S plus 3. So we need to rearrange into the frequency domain by replacing S with J omega. So J omega plus 3, we need to rearrange into this format until we get plus 1. In order to have plus 1, we need to divide J omega with 3 and multiply this function with 3 in order to get the same function as this one. So 3 is the cutoff frequency. So for pole, the starting point for magnitude is 0 dB. For frequency larger than 3, 0 degree per decade. The slope is 0 dB per decade, sorry. For frequency larger than 3 until the end, the slope is negative 20 dB per decade. For phase, again, since the cutoff frequency is 3, we need to extend 1 decade before the cutoff frequency, which is 0 0.3, multiply with 1.3. Uh, 0 0.1 or divide by 10 and then we need to extend one decade after the cutoff frequency which is 30. Below than 0, okay, the phase plot started by 0 degree. Below than 0 0.3, the slope is 0 degree per decade. Between 0 0.3 until 30, the slope is negative 45 degree per decade. For the frequency larger than 30, the slope is 0 degree per decade. Only within this range, there is non-zero slope. Since this is single pole, so it is negative 45 degree per decade. So this is the frequency range, where the frequency range is you extend one decade before this cutoff frequency, which is this formula, using this formula. And you need to extend one decade after the cutoff frequency, using this formula. So within this frequency range only has non-zero slope. In this case, for pole, negative 45 degree per decade. For zero, only within this frequency range, it has non-zero slope, which is positive 45 degree per decade. Other than that, lesser or larger, it is zero degree per decade. Same goes to this one, lesser 
or larger, it is 0 degree per decay. Next, we go for theory number 8. This is double zeros. So you have s plus 4 squared. You have the same 0, negative 4. You have double 0. So we arrange uh, this equation into frequency domain. We replace s with j omega. We have j omega plus 4 squared. And we arrange until we have this one. So this one, um, the cut of frequency is still 4, but we have double zeros. So since we have double zeros, the starting point is still 0. For frequency large, uh, lesser than 4, lesser than cut of frequency, the slope is 0 dB per decade. For slope, for frequency larger than cut of frequency, larger than 4, until the end, the slope is positive 40 dB per decade. We double the slope if you compare between theory number 8 and theory number 6. Okay, we double the slope. Same goes to phase. We will double the slope. Okay, back to theory number 8. So for phase, again, we need to determine the frequency range if we have 4 for the cutoff frequency. So the frequency range is 1 decade before the cutoff frequency using this formula and 1 decade after the cutoff frequency using this formula. Only within this range, within this frequency range, the slope is non-zero. In this case, since this is double zero, so the slope should be positive and the slope should be double. So 90 degree per decade. Less than Frequency, this frequency 0 0.4, the slope is 0 degree per decade. Larger than 40, the slope is 0 degree per decade. The starting point is 0 degree. Same goes to the starting point for magnitude 0 dB. The next theory is theory number 9. If we have double poles at the knee denominator, okay, we have S plus 3 squared. We rearrange into frequency domain and we arrange until we have this format plus 1. So 3 is the cut of frequency. So for magnitude, the starting point is 0. Frequency uh, lesser than 3, the slope is 0 dB per decade. Frequency larger than 3 and above until the end, the slope is negative 40 dB per decade. So since it is pole, the slope is negative. Since it is double pole, the slope is double became for negative 40 dB per decade. For phase, we need to determine the frequency range first. So since this is the cut of frequency, so we uh, extend one decade before using the formula and we extend one decade after using the formula, this formula. So if we have 3, the frequency range is 0 0.3 until 30. Only within this frequency range, we have non-zero slope. In this case, since we have pole, the free, uh, slope is negative. Since we have double pole, the slope is double. So it became negative 90 degree per decade within this range, this frequency range only. Less than this frequency range, 0 0.3, the slope is zero with a zero degree starting point. And larger than this frequency range, which is larger than 30, the slope is zero degree per decade. 